to create the model we start with part in here we create a part 3d deformable solid and extrusion the first point should be in the center and the second point should be in uh, 0 0.01 for x and y here it is and then for depth we select 0 0.2 which is about 20 centimeter uh, for material property we go we need to define two kind of type of material property one for U using usfld and the other one is for the general purpose so in here i put uh, 7800 for density and we increase the number of fill variable to one and then we need to add another row here for the first one we use 20 e9 no sorry 10 e9 0 0.3 and fill variable 0 and for the second one 200 e9 0 0.3 and fill variable one and then in here we need to select user defined field and you can see it says that you need to use us fld and also we need to use depth var. depth var is for showing the results uh, if you don't see their uh, state variable in odb file if you don't need it you can just leave it but now we, we, we need for, to see the results so i increase the number to one everything's fine now and then in here I copy this one call it number two and in here I delete this one and I remove it I delete this one and also the bar so we have density and elastic it's very straightforward in here we select a section we create a section and we first we go with usfld option so we select the material one and here we select the part and here we assign the section in assembly we need to insert the part you can go for a step in a step we need to create a static general uh, we turn on the nlg on. in here i change it to 0 0.1 and i change it to thousand it's not very important but and now in here to see the results in the end i check solution uh, dependent state variable and uh, predefined field variable you can uncheck them but if you want to see the results uh, it's better to check them in load i need to fix this section this face anti and caster and i'm gonna pull it from here from this face uniform minus 10 e6 now we can go for the mesh in mesh section we go to par and then we can sign the mesh 0 0.002 then i can mesh it in here before creating the job i need to change the set directory set work directory after changing the set uh, work directory i can go and save it i'm gonna call it us fld and in here i need to create a job right okay everything is fine here now we can go for the subroutine in here i'll already create a file if you want to create a subroutine file you need to just right click and create a text and put a name and then but in the end you need to put 0 uh, 0.4 and then you can see it's changed to the for trans of course by we, we i already did this uh you can get this code from abacus documentation uh, so, uh it's very easy but i already uh, got, got it from the abacus documentation in here first i need to define the x y z direction so i'm gonna say x is equal to port one y equal to four two z equal to four three and then i need to say build i'm gonna copy it show you which one i'm talking about field one is equal to y divided by 0 0.01 and the second line i need to see the, the state variable so i say state i'm gonna copy it again to show you here state one is equal to this value multiply to 109 t gigapascal which is dot d9 d9 plus 10 dot d9 okay just be careful it should be one space more than these line so i'm gonna add one spare to each line here 
I hold shift and right click on the screen and after that I can say abacus user equal to usfld.4 job is equal to job 1.imp interactive as you can see the job is completed now we can see the results here's the result if I go to strain to see the strain as you can see in here we have more say in the lower part than the uh, the top surface which shows that the young modulus is different from the bottom to the top surface and also if you go to state variable you can see for top surface we have higher value but for the lower surface we have lower value and you can see by pulling the bar the bar turn a little to bar bends a little but and it should if it was isotropic material it shouldn't have here as you can see we have a straight state variable one if in the model in here if I didn't turn on the state variable number of solution dependent and uh, if I didn't define the state variable in here I couldn't see the state variable this value if I don't use these I the I still can solve the model but I can I only can see the state variable number one uh, if I want to see more variable and I can increase it and in here I can define more state variable but let's see what's happened if we have an isentropic material I'm gonna change the model I'm gonna change the material property in here except uh, instead of uh, material 1 I'm gonna select material 2 and uh, now I can create another draw and I'm gonna run it as you can see the, the job is completed now we can see the results Here it is if I go to the strain you see strain is almost equal for all for the whole part equal for all of it uh, but for this one you see different from the bottom to the top surface so you can see the differences if you can if you use USFL or if you use the isotropic material thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question please let us know so we can help you with the until the next video bye